as we know staff selection commission has already released the notification most of you might have seen those who do not have seen uh, notification yet you can, I, i'm providing the link in the di video description you can uh, get the link okay uh, the last date for application 7/11/2017 5 pm the mode of application is online but the mode of payment is both offline and uh, online so the fee is uh, 100 rupees so you have a pay scale of 35400 basic which is a good uh, good basic pay so if you compare if you want to compare with uh, state governments so currently after pay revision telangana and uh, uh, andhra will have around 37000 has around 37100 basic pay so you can compare but uh, central government will have some more allowances as we know compared to state government and work wise central government will be more professional compared to state government so that is also what difference we can see but the disadvantage with uh, central government is transfer that was the only major uh, drawback in central government okay so i'll come back to that later so first <clears throat> what is staff selection commission je what is the grade or level with respect to state government whether we can opt that option or not so with respect to is where the post stands i'll tell you so staff selection j uh, comes under group b non gazetted post initially as a fresher you will enter into a level of group b non gazetted post all the group a engineering services will be recruited by upsc under indian engineering services that are group a posts okay so this is group b non gazetted post means after one promotion you will go to group b gazetted post then you will go to group a that is upsc cadre okay so it is two grades below engineering services we can say after two promotions you will go to engineering services level so upsc conducts the same examination for all the engineering departments that is indian engineering services but for group b posts there are two recruitments one separately for railway that is rrb je and scu you know that exam and for all the remaining departments staff selection commission conduct the exam so this is the grade or level we can see so here uh, you will have je uh, for engineering services it is awe cadre okay so that awe cadre you will get in state government directly but that awe cadre is almost equal to je in central government we can see okay but uh, in state government you uh, you are uh, suppose if you get awe you are a gazetted officer but ssc je is not gazetted it is not gazetted after promotion you will go to gazetted that is one more difference we can say and regarding the departments uh, some people may have confusion whether btech students can apply or not because in the notification if you observe so for some of the posts they have mentioned only diploma they did not mention engineering for some department for some departments they have mentioned uh, diploma and also engineering okay so students may have confusion whether engineering can apply so example you can take cpwd for cpwd you will see only diploma but actually both engineer and uh, diploma student can apply for it okay so cpwd is the best option i can say particularly for may students because mostly it will be site work inspections etc so uh, not only this for girls i don't recommend ssc je because of transfers because of posting locations whatever may be the department you opt you cannot escape from transfers okay so if you are thinking to stay near to home locations don't even think about ssc je you cannot escape from transfers okay and only a few departments will not have transfer but you may have zero posts or maybe one posts in it so don't even think that uh, you, you you can stay at a particular place through ssc je you cannot escape transfer okay so that is one thing regarding department preference first first option will be cpwd as i said engineering uh, students also can apply so i have enquired uh, with uh, current working ssc je of cpwd cwc mes uh, i enquired with three departments because uh, most of the posts you will have in cpwd 
CWC that is Central Water Commission, Military Engineering Services and Border Roads. Even though you have more posts here, uh, this is very tough job because Border Roads means you, you can imagine where will be the posting locations and Military Engineering Services also work wise it is okay but the problem is in posting locations. You will have, you, um, many students will not get good posting locations otherwise Central Water Commission and uh, MES are almost uh, have similarities in work culture. Uh, CPWD work culture is really very good and uh, CWC currently has good scope for promotions because in CPWD there are more numbers. CWC has good scope for promotion. So according to me CPWD should be the first preference. Next you can opt CWC than MES. MES and this both are same just because of posting locations. I am saying CWC. Uh, these two are research departments uh, which is very rare to get. Almost you will have zero posts in it. So forget about it. Next department of post. This is also very rare to get. Maybe one or zero post will be there. Farakka Barrage. This is an ongoing project you know. So in this also very less recruitment will be there, maybe one or zero. Uh, for this, the advantage is there is no transfer, but work wise as the ongoing project, it's not so easy to work there. So I have kept it at this position, okay. The last preference is border road, but highest number of posts may be there in border roads, okay. So here good number of recruitment will be there in border roads, but work wise this is the la last preference that I will give you, okay. So I have given you enough input to decide yourself. So I will tell you, uh, majorly you will have posts in CPWD, CPWD, CWC, MES and Border Roads as I said. Remaining you may have one or zero posts, so don't worry about that. Okay, so here I will give the preference as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, 4 means the, you, you can give the remaining also in the order. In the SSCJ, every post and every category will have a code. So suppose if it is SSC, JE, CP, WD, Civil, you will have one code. SSC, JE, CP, WD, Electrical, you will have one code. So like this, uh, you will have the codes in uh, A, B, C, D, E like this. And the categories, whether you belong to general category, OBC category, this category is also will have code. Suppose category 9 belongs to general category like this, you will have a separate number while applying uh, you, you have to fill according to the category numbers. You can see that numbers uh, in the notification itself. And apart from that, uh, in the notification they have clearly mentioned that the, uh, the preferences that you have given once will not be changed. But as per my experience with the uh, candidates who has written already, I have inquired enough on this. I came to know that uh, again during the certificate verification, you are asked to give your preferences most of the till now even the last recruitment has happened like this so i am not sure whether they will allow the changes later or not so till now they have allowed okay they have allowed even they did not consider the uh, choices that you have given before they have taken a fresh uh, preferences during the time of uh, certificate verification okay previously sscje used to have uh, uh, interview but later for group B post interview has been removed. Now, uh, SSCJE exam will have two papers. Paper 1, General Awareness, General, Intel General Awareness for 50 marks that is General Knowledge and General Intelligence and Reasoning. So what, are, what comes under General Intelligence you can read in uh, notification, 50 marks. So this combinedly 100 marks and uh, uh, General Engineering that is Civil Engineering. 100 marks. So every every subject has a equal weightage here. Okay, so whether technical or not technical. So totally you will have for 200 marks. So for this 200, uh, okay, so 200 marks and a negative mark of 0 0.25. So for this 200 marks you will have only one paper. Straight 200 questions you will have. Okay, so 200 questions, 0.25 negative. And this is a computer based exam, but still for the result at least around 3 months you have to wait for paper 1 result. And the exam will be conducted in 3 days. As per the notification it is 5th January to 8th January. Okay. 
and uh, it is a computer based so for the result maybe it takes three months so after that you will have a conventional exam okay so as there is huge amount of gap you need not prepare for conventional from beginning only okay it will waste lot of time unnecessarily for conventional even they are taking questions from in previous engineering services also so it takes time to prepare conventional so don't worry about conventional Re prepare for paper one and uh, technically you have very 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 less questions with uh, numerical questions most of the questions if you see in engineering they are theory and conceptual based only okay there is so much theory, so many theory questions you can go through the previous questions okay so there is no need to uh, study a big calculated numerical questions it's hundred percent waste of time you can go through all previous SAC JE questions most of the questions were very easy but you have to read more theory and conceptual type of questions so you expose more to such type of questions when you are buying a materials also buy accordingly uh, suppose when you are joining any coaching center for SSC JE you make sure that they are also teaching conventional many coaching institutes what they do they simply place one uh, what what we say uh, one extra banner like uh, SSC JE coaching and they will teach the same coaching for this also the preparation strategy for SSC JE and state government jobs will not be same because state government job uh, you will have numerical questions and regarding the exam timings number of questions everything there is a difference so le level toughness level is quite different for SSC JE type of questions is quite different for SSC JE so the preparation strategy for paper 1 and paper 2 is quite difficult uh, quite different so for paper 2 you can prepare later but when you are joining a coaching center you actually need coaching for paper 2 so most of the institute just teach whatever they are teaching for gate and waste uh, unnecessary time we can say in solving numerical type questions concept will not change with respect to exam to exam but the type of questions that we solve is very important okay so when you are joining a coaching center for SSC JE, uh, make sure about the previous results what the coaching institute has got. So uh, after good inquiry only, inquiry with the uh, previous students only join in that particular coaching center. Okay, Or you can prepare by yourself. When you are preparing by yourself while choosing a book, don't buy a book that has theory and questions. You can get that theory in many places. In internet also nowadays many materials are available. So by objective questions which has more number of questions okay and uh, accuracy so from trusted publications which have more number of questions and more towards theoretical questions like Gupta and Gupta so such type of questions Kanna publications whatever whatever the book you are preparing it should have more number of questions than theory such such books will help you a lot okay so don't go in deep for the subject exposed to more number of questions for SSCJE that's what I can say so currently don't worry about paper to have good good enough time because uh, first paper itself is conducted in January which means that uh, you take at least three months so February March April so maybe after gate exam still you will have three to four months to uh, sorry at least two months you will have to write the main exam if you get qualified okay Previously, SSC JE was a really very easy exam. We used to have the cutoff around 100, 110, 3 to 4 years back. But now, because of heavy competition, even though it is two cadres less than engineering services, the competition will be really very, very high. But uh, for civil engineers, definitely this is a good opportunity because uh, you can enter into central government and there will be good number of posts overall. Suppose the border roads may have some 150 posts in general category itself and uh, military engineering services may be having some 60 to 70 posts in uh, general category itself and the central water commission may have around 100 so like this only in general category itself you can see how many number of posts around 1000 posts you will have only for civil engineering itself total all categories i'm saying okay so this is a good opportunity so for those who want to stay near to your home do not prefer transfer don't even look into sscje definitely you will suffer later so for those students who do not have any state preference you can work anywhere and if you are only particular about the work culture then I will suggest central government compared to state government because in state government you will have huge amount of work pressure politics etc 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 okay so 
that is the input that i can give you so regarding to derive the uh, preparation strategy i have to observe more number of uh, previous gate questions sorry previous uh, ssc je questions uh, from the starting because the weightage distributions i can clearly see that compared to gate and uh, state government jobs there is a uh, good variation for ssc je so the same preparation strategy will not work for ssc je so i have to go through all the questions so if i have time i will make separate preparation strategy complete overview video for ssc je so meanwhile you you can prepare for ssc je okay so with this details i hope uh, Uh, you are clear whether you have to apply for SSC JEE or not. So, if you want to apply, the last date is seventeen eleven two thousand seventeen. Okay. So, thank you.